So guys, I am back with yet another First Descendant video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to showcase you a couple of solo Kuiper Shard farms. How's it going, guys? My name's DPG. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps. If you feel like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now, obviously, relatives of one's build, any farm in this game can be done solo. But over the past few days, I've had multiple questions. People asking me if I know any decent, easy to run, solo Kuiper Shard farms. So that's exactly what I've been for you today. Now the three we will check out, two of these are basically brand new, where the other one is a more popular spot. Okay, so firstly, these can be done on normal or hard, depending on if you've unlocked hard yet. Obviously on hard though, enemies will hit a bit harder and you'll earn more Kuipers. But doing it on normal, you'll still earn Kuipers and plenty of other materials. And firstly one, we want to come to the Agna Desert. This one point right here is where you want to come to in the storage area and this is the mission we're going to be running to. Simple as that. So I'm just going to mark that guys and we're going to run around. Now I'll show you exactly how to run this. Now this can be done in a team, it will be run much much quicker. But if you're a player who plays on private, want to play solo, it's completely fine. You will earn Kuipers for doing this. Now like I said I'm doing this on hard, I'm on a glass cannon bunny build. So again, I will be hitting, getting hit a lot harder than you will be on normal or if you're playing on any other character. But it is what it is. Bunnies beware. But bunnies know. Every bunny knows. So that's the mission we start up. You run up to this hill. I'll show you exactly how to run it. So you have two enemies spawn here. Well, well, it's normally two. And then we turn around and there's a couple here. And there's a guy that's teleporting behind me. Being a pain in the ass, but that's fine because he's going down. There's another guy that will spawn behind you. Take him out too. From here, guys, come this way. I'm just going to be on bonus. I'm just going to make it for the purposes of the video to not keep it too long. I'm just going to take all these out. So enemies will spawn outside of here and then inside. And you can just simply just take them all out. And this point here, guys, is a point we're actually going to need to be defending. So pretend you're playing, I don't know, capture the point control in the, or domination in Call of Duty. Will you piss off, you big old dirty bastard? I'm just going to stand in here guys and we're just going to face the three ways in that way, that way and that way and take out all the enemies that do spawn. The spawning is sort of like mini waves but it's nothing hard about it at all. And there's a couple of bigger hitting enemies like that guy there but if you take him out before you even get a chance to look at you, you shouldn't really have a problem. I'm just going to reload my weapon. Simple as this. And I can run this guys in probably about two, two and a half minutes dependent. Them guys there are a pain in the ass. The fortress guards, but hey, take them out quickly, you're good. But yeah, I come in about two, two and a half minutes, all dependent guys. But yeah, it's 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 quite easy to do, I'm not gonna lie to you. Gonna, might as well just activate my skill again. Take out these annoying bastards, you know what I'm saying? Get out of it, get out of it. And then you get the notification of the big guy spawning, which is that guy right there. So I'm just gonna take him out. And then guys, that is the end of that. Simple as that. Run around, collect any of your materials, any of those Kuipers, and you can simply just restart the mission. So yeah, it really is that simple, guys. Uh, so for that, I did it in 1 minute 47 seconds, and I got 3,421. Now, I normally get around a 3,000 mark, but yeah, it's as simple as that. Then guys, just simply restart the mission and run it again. Or you can just run down to the point, which is just at the bottom of the hill, and start it again. It's completely up to you. So yeah. So what about the second farm? Well, the second farm, guys, takes place in the sterile land. So if we go there, right here, guys, you want to come to the say left-hand side. You want to come to the rockfall area, just like so. And you want to spawn into there. Now this is the more popular one I've seen posted quite a bit now. But again, if you're a solo player looking for a solo farm. The first one don't help you out, this one should definitely help you out. So we can see where we're at guys. This is the mission you want to be doing. Again, I'm doing this on hard. For you it's going to be, um, if you're doing it on normal, it'll be a lot, lot easier. But again, if you're doing it on hard too and you're just on level, which you should be anyway, or gear on hard drops at a level of 100, you've got really no excuse. And it's just a simple mission to run. So enemies will spawn, take them all out. Just like so. Take these guys out too. If you want to, you want to play that game, you should do, yeah? Yeah, mate, you'll get enemy spawn here, just like so. Then you'll get enemy spawn right about here. Eventually, when the game catches up, just like so. 
We get enemy spawn down it here, just like so. We get enemy spawn there, just like so. Enemy spawn there, just like so. And then you'll get the big guy that spawns in the middle eventually. It should be there. Then you take this elite vanguard out. It's a little bit hard hitting, but hey. And there it is, guys. The mission is done. Collect your loot. Collect all your juicy loot. And simply restart the mission. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple. 41 seconds. I got 1,504. Simple as that. Restart it. It's about the same. It just works out to be about the same as the first one. But it's still a great, great farm. You can do solo. There's nothing difficult about this whatsoever. In fact, it's, it's a lot easier in the first one. But I think the first one will probably reward you a few more in regards to the Kuipers. So I think it's probably a little bit more efficient. Why are you not running fast, uh, Bunny? Why are you not running fast, Bunny? Again, once you get used to the enemy spawns as well, guys, it's so, so easy. It's unbelievable. It's just, it's just like a chill farm, isn't it? Because if you die, I mean, I mean, you get like five attempts. You shouldn't really be dying. Yeah, big guy. Ba-boom. Yeah, but I mean, again, if you die, you get five attempts. Who are you chasing? Who are you chasing? Hey, simple as that. Collect that loot. Hey, are you not a part of the mission? No, you wasn't. Are you not a part of the mission? No, you wasn't either. Cool. And again, guys. You simply then. That time I actually got 2,150 seconds. So not bad. Rinse repeat. Simple as that. Okay, guys. So the final farm for those solo players takes place on White Knight Gulch. So on here, guys, you want to come down to the very bottom of Moongrave Basin. And this is the mission we want to be running, the water cooling recording device. Now, what I will say is for a limited time too, um, you can also, guys, be farming those sensors at the same time. Now, you've got about five days left to do this. Uh, but either or, when these sensors, well, when this rotates and it changes to something else, you'll still be able to get an insane amount of those Kuipers. I think someone did the maths, which is up to 400,000 per hour if you build right obviously okay so this is the mission like i said so it's going to mark that and you want to fast travel to the moon grave basin uh fast travel point so from here guys you want to run this way now don't worry about the mission rewards here because we actually ain't going to be completing this mission we're actually just going to basically like fail it on purpose because we want to just farm the ads that will constantly spawn in so that's exactly what we're going to be doing okay so the mission is located just around this corner and it's the mission where there's two points like A and B. And uh, well, you know what you do. You, you capture the point and then you have to destroy the point and deliver the, I don't know if it's an explosive. It's normally an explosive you pin to the point, but it's something you deliver to like a little mouthy robot machine, which just eats everything up. You'll see it right here on my left. But yes, so yeah, there's two points you'll see now. There's A and B, ignore B completely. And it's normally the point where you capture the point guys, you defend it. And then it blows up and you have to deliver the thing to this machine here. We actually ain't going to be doing none of that. We're going to actually activate the point. Then we're going to let the enemies recapture it. So it more or less fails. And then we have like a about three and a half minute timer to just take out the unlimited amount of ads that do spawn in. So yeah, pretty cool. So we're going to run over here. We've activated the point. We're going to run over here. We take out these enemies. Just like so. Just take them all out. And we want to wait until the enemies run to that point over there, run to A, and take it out. That's what we're waiting for. So you can see them right there. See it says seizure aborted. That's what we want. That is the perfect time. Now, guys, we just wait for the enemies to spawn up. And now we just do what we got to do, people. Now, the enemies will spawn in two lots of rotations right here. Like, literally right here. Them explosions always, always get me. And then we just run back around. Now, you want to stay, you want to stay away from... Uh, a, like I said, you don't want to go back towards it or take any of the enemies out on the point because it will start um, progressing that bar again, which is not what we want. We don't want to progress that bar, guys. We, that's something we definitely do not want to do. We're just taking out the, the enemies between these two points and we're running backwards and forwards between them. That's literally all we are doing. Our enemies will spawn right here underneath this. I think there's a rotation. You have to take these ones out for them once you respawn. But yeah, you know what you got to do, guys. You know what you got to do. It's quite simple. Quite simple, to be honest. And you also have respawned here. Oh, shield guy. Nah, mate. And again, at the minute, we're getting tons and tons of these sensors, which is always a good thing. 
especially for those uh, builders out there still so working on your builds that's exactly what we do so again what the hell hit me then explosions yeah come on game come on game and my build I've literally not long got to hard so for me um, the enemies are hitting me pretty hard I've still got a lot of modules to level up a lot of things to do here but I'm um, still at the same time I can survive on my real glass cannon bunny build and again this is on hard you can do this on normal um, like I said you'll still earn tons and tons of those Kuipers just obviously on that normal mode you ain't gonna be earning anywhere near this amount but hey if you haven't got that hard mode unlocked yet you gotta do what you gotta do people you gotta do what you gotta do and that's it this is basically the farm again stay away from the point you don't want to be capturing any of them that's not what we're doing here just running between these two points where these enemies will constantly spawn in and it is like unlimited waves until that time limit runs down to zero the mission fails again you won't get none of the mission rewards for completing it because we ain't actually completing it so yep that's basically it this is the um the farm and like i said i believe this was found by dennis uh it's actually a farm i covered solo i think it was yesterday maybe a bit early, maybe earlier today um, he is the original founder of this and could it just go to him for this farm now what I will say is he did the maths and I believe he was earning towards 400,000 Kuipers per hour now that isn't just from drops from this by the way from these enemy drops it's from dismantling the duplicate uh, modules you will be getting and you'll be getting an absolute ton of these you really will so you can see the, the farm goes on for ages the farm goes on for absolutely ages. On Bunny, it's easier in regards to running backwards and forth. But in regards to damage output, there's plenty of builds out there and plenty of other descendants which are equally as good, if not miles, miles better. Hey, we leveled up my season pass. Nice. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds left. Um, I think there's going to be a, one more spawn of enemies on this side before we actually end, and they do vanish. And there we go. So the mission now will have failed, and I think my inventory is already full. Boom! Okay, so mission is done. Loot on the floor. My inventory is full. And what did we get? So that was about three and a half minutes. So we got 9,127. But we also, at the same time, got plenty of these sensors, which are obviously good. And we got tons of modules, tons of duplicates too. So yeah, dismantling all of them, you're going to get thousands also at the same time. So yeah guys, an amazing, an amazing farm. Now here guys, if you don't want to run back to that, uh, the mission to restart it, you simply just hold your start button, go to previous mission results, and then click simply restart mission from down here. That is all you have to do. But yes, there we have it guys, three incredible solo farms for those solo players guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one